I am Anil Kumar and in this series I will be discussing how to solve quadratic equation. We have an assignment here with a couple of questions like this. You can always copy these questions. We will work on them one by one in this series. Uh, so one of these questions here is solve 9x square equals to 49, that's part A, 6x equals to 3x square. So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let me begin with the part B, which is 6x equals to 3x squared. Some of the students may provide a solution which may look like this. Uh, let me first tell you that is incorrect solution. So let me first give you incorrect solution. We are trying to solve for 6x equals to 3x squared. They may cancel x and they may cancel, let me first cancel the x parts. So we get 6 equals to 3x. Then they may divide 6 by 3. So, so 6 divided by 3 equals to x, which is 2. So that may be a solution, but that is not the right solution. Okay, so I'm marking this as incorrect solution. So those of you who got this answer uh, should remember that this is not the correct solution. Okay, now let's see how to find the correct solution. So we have 6x equals to 3x squared. We could write this as 0 equals to 3x squared minus 6x. Now what is common factor? 3 and the variable x. And you get x minus 2. How do you get that? 3x squared divided by 3x is x. 6x with a negative sign, negative here, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and x divided by x is 1, so we get x minus 2 equals to 0. So whenever you have a factored form, it's kind of easy to write down the solution. One of the solution is x equals to 0, that makes the first factor. <coughs> and that makes the first factor 0, the other one is x minus 2 equals to 0, that is x equals to 2. So we do get one of the solutions which we got previously, but we missed one, which is x equals to 0. That is important. So you just cancelled one of those x's. You cancelled a solution. That's what I'm trying to emphasize here. I hope this point is absolutely clear, right? So we have two solutions. We can always write down our answer as x equals to 0 and x equals to 2. Now you follow this technique and find the solution for 9x squared equals to 49, right? So let's do it. So we have 9x squared minus 49. So bring them to one side and then factor them. This is difference of square. I hope you remember difference of square. That is a squared minus b squared could be written as a plus b times a minus b, correct? So in this case, or well, think like uh, this, 3x whole square minus 7 square equals to 0. Do you see that? So a is 3x, b is 7 for you. a is 3x, b is 7. So we could write this as 3x plus 7 times 3x minus 7 equal to 0. So that gives you the factored form. That gives you two solutions. One of them is 3x plus 7 equals to 0. That is 3x equals to minus 7, x equals to minus 7 over 3. The other one is 3x minus 7 equals to 0, that is 3x equals to 7, x equals to 7 over 3. Do you get it? All right? So that is how we get two solutions for the given equation. And so the answer for this one is that x is equals to plus or minus 7 over 3, right? So that is how you should be solving such equations. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.